Hello, this is Gordon Bosniak of uh, GordonBoss.com. In this video I will show you how to insert a Weber opt-in form in a sidebar on WordPress blog. I presume that you don't have form created yet, so I'll start from the beginning. If you want you can create a completely new list or choose one of your existing ones. So I'll go to my Weber. I will um, I will choose my uh, one of the existing lists. I will go to list settings. And I will go to uh, web form. Go to my web form. I will click on a create web form. And I will give it a name. give it a name uh, something like test and then uh, I will click on a uh, next to go to the second page on my laptop so let me do that scroll down click on a next Then I will open the box to type the letters in, type the text in. Okay, you need to be sure that, uh, that the lines are short. Otherwise, the letters will not fit in a in a in a form when it's um, published in a sidebar. Uh, also, you need to make sure. Actually, I, I do that. Um, I do that uh, all the time. I align the text to the left rather than aligning them. Uh, aligning the text in uh, in the middle, as this uh, will give me more control when I want to display display the text now by hitting the tab on a keyboard I will I will move this text to the middle for some reason this uh, this works much better than aligning them to the middle in the first place okay I will save changes here no sorry I will first change the size of the letters to one okay and I will let's say change the color into blue okay color blue okay and then I will save changes go back to the uh, box again and I will just move this letter a bit there. A little bit. Save changes. And then save again. We'll scroll down. See my new new form called test2 I will go I will click on a he, uh, get HTML now you're gonna have two options here Java and raw HTML I will go for raw, raw HTML because that will give uh, give us opportunity later to edit uh, the code so I will copy this always in a notepad I will minimize notepad and I will close this window and I will go back to my blog to my admin admin side of the blog ok 
okay I will go to design then widgets and then we'll scroll down to look for a widget called text and I will add that widget there which will appear here now on the right side and I will save changes first okay now we have save changes I will click on edit and I will paste I will paste the uh, HTML code. I will give it a title here. You don't need to give it a title, but I, I like uh, I like to have a title there. Um, let's say my first ebook. And I will click on a save changes. Okay, and then I will go to my home page and I will refresh it to see the result. Okay. It's right down here. Okay, I will I will uh, I will uh, go back to my admin side and I will move I will move my new widget on the top by dragging it and letting it go here and save changes. We'll go back to my home page. I will refresh it again, and uh, my new form should be on the top here. Okay. Uh, there's one thing I don't like here uh, is the name and email field is touching the content uh, content body here. So we're gonna go back. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go back to our to our admin part where our code is yeah my first ebook it's edit uh, within the code you're gonna scroll down and look for this code here where we can see 20 and 20 here yeah we're gonna change that code to 14 for example you can do whatever 12 or 16 or whatever you like but something like 14 is that's okay for me and I will save changes again and I will go back to my home page refresh it again and here it is here it is uh, the field is uh, perfectly displayed now it doesn't touch the edge of this box text is okay you can go back to to your Aweb form and play with text play with the lines how they fit here move this a little bit to the right so it's 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 uh, perfectly in the middle um, you can add a little bit to this title here to to fill to fill this line completely here but I think it's it, it looks okay um, okay so that that's it that's it really that was really easy uh, I hope this was really easy to follow and I hope you're gonna have your form on on your website uh, soon thank you and bye